Hello, and welcome to my favorite video of the week where I go over my League of Legends top 25. Um, these are power rankings. I use um, stats, algorithms. I watch all four major regions pretty much 90 to 95% of the time. So I don't really need an algorithm for them. But I use an algorithm within this to try to figure out how smaller regions, lesser regions fare against bigger regions. Um, because obviously not all regions are the same. And um, in spring, I'm going to kind of give a backstory on this because I don't know what the, where this video, how many people are new to the channel or whatever. Um, in spring, I only did each region individually, but I wanted to do this. I used MSI because Vietnam were finally able to play, so I was able to actually figure out how all the regions stacked up against each other for now. And um, used that to determine how to weigh stats versus each other to determine this, um, you know, power rankings. Um, so it's going to ruffle some feathers. It's going to upset some people. But really, I don't care. Um, this is fun. Comment down below with your opinions. All opinions are valid. I don't really, you know, I don't have a problem with other people disagreeing with my opinions or whatever. Um, I will say that I did forget something on here already. Um the teams that are out from last week are oh actually it's black drx and um fanatic drx and fanatic were in the top 25 they were no longer in the top 25 so that's a thing. Um, if you didn't watch my video yesterday, I went over the small regions. And in that video, I do my top 10 minor region power rankings, just top 10 teams. Um, and the upper couple teams end up making it on this list because they are good enough to be on this list. Um, it's kind of like how you kind of got to look at it like college football or college basketball. You have teams from very small conferences. How do they do against an Alabama? How do they do against a Kentucky or things like that? You don't really know until the tournament. So... Um, for now, we rank them how we rank them. Now, there are a few regions not represented because they weren't good enough at MSI. So, because of that, um, their teams have to do extra well domestically to end up on this list. Um, Japan, their best team, Detonation Focus Me, are 26th. Um, CB Lull, Pain Gaming are 29th. Team Whale from Vietnam are 33rd. Astral Esports are 38th, and Nasser Turkey are 37th for the TCL. Those five regions are not going to be ranked on here. Those are their best teams, and they are off the top 25. So, I got my notebook here. Mo I only used um, notes for this, um, for these, because there are a lot of records and things like that that I'm not going to remember unless I do it this way. So, you're wanting to know what this is. So, 25th, we have LNG back in the top 25. LNG went 1-1 one one last week. Um, they lost to RNG, but that's okay. Um, beat Ultra Prime a win they might, they needed a lot. Do I like Pan, uh, LNG right now? No. Um, I don't like Panda Seed all that much. This is not an, uh, indicative of really my, I mean, it's my opinion. But as well as, um, I mean, shoot, there's going to be like eight LPL teams on here. So, LNG are 25th. There's a big gap between 25th and 1st. Um, 24th, not moving at all. FPX. FPX are currently 5 and 6. They just beat Anyone's Legend this morning. A big win coming off of a loss to OMG. They needed the win over Anyone's Legend. Now, Anyone's Legend, we'll get to later. Um, they are still in the top 25 after losing. But um, that's a win FPX need to prove. They Can they beat those teams? Yes. FPX continue to do well. Um, 23rd, moving up, moving um, down four spots. Starry is J team. Why was I going to write other? Jeez, I'm using them all over the place today. Um, J team are 23rd. Moving down four spots. They went two and one this past week. Um, now they're seven and two in the PCS. Widely considered the strongest minor region in the world. Um, after that, 22nd, not moving at all, our Chief Esports Club. 
Um, GB Sports Club from the LCO are 15 and 0. So if you only watch this video every week, they are dominating their region. I believe yesterday I said they're 34 and 2 on the whole entire year in the regular season. So very good, 2 and 0 last week. Um, 22nd, 21st, moving up two spots. PSG, PSG overtake J Team as the top um, minor region team. PSG went 3 and 0 last week. They're 8 and 1 now, and one of their wins. I mean, one of the two losses for J-Team are against PSG. So PSG approved. They are better than J-Team now. Um, and I'll also say that this week, the algorithm really um, worked well. It really righted itself, which I was happy about. Um, teams are kind of falling into where they should be, which is good. Um, 20th, moving down seven spots is Team Liquid. As they start to struggle. Um, they are now six and three. They beat Golden Guardians, but lost to 100 Thieves. I mean, I mean, sorry, EG. And at the time, so the way I think about this, you've got teams up here. When you lose to teams up here, and you're over here, okay. Well, you probably, I mean, of course, LNG and Victory Five. I'm betting on LNG. Preview for tomorrow, but still, I mean, they they play tomorrow, but still. You know, you would think LNG should, if they lose to Victory 5, well, that's not as much to say about LNG, really. I mean, you'd expect that. Um, but when TL and EG play against each other, which were, I believe, 12th and 13th in my power rankings last week, you're going to be hurt if you lost. Um, you showed that you are not at their level right now, so you're going to fall. Um, 19th, dropping five spots, 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves, um, they beat CLG, lost to FlyQuest. They lost to a team that's not even on the board. So they fall. Not quite as drastically as TL lost, but still, they lost, and they, that hurt them. The LCS falling off the wagon here. Um, now, we get to more Western teams. This one is overdue. G2, 18th now, dropping seven spots. And Excel as well dropped seven spots. Both of them were 10th and 11th the last week. I had them as the top-ranked Western teams. G2, I still believe, are very freaking good. I'm not going to say that I don't think they're going to Worlds because I think if you had to ask me, do I, if I had to put money on it right now, I would say G2 is going to end up going to Worlds. Um, are they playing like it this very second? No. But I think that in best of fives, they can get into the playoffs. In best of fives, they can win and get in. I, I honestly believe that. Now... Excel, this is a bigger deal. Excel need wins. They cannot be losing to the likes of SK, um, yeah, Astralis and SK. Like two really, t I mean, Astralis is playing better this split, and SK also beat G2. So SK coming on strong now, but I really am not a big fan of SK. I don't think SK offers a lot. I don't think Astralis offers a lot. So losing to these, t these two teams is not a good look. And Excel, I mean, Excel need to win tomorrow. And really kind of figure it out. I think they play Misfits. If they lose to Misfits, honestly, um, I don't think XL's even got a sh I mean, they, I think uh, yesterday I said they don't have, they don't have a shot. Um, I mean, Tuesday I said they don't have a shot. And really, I mean, they are, they are struggling. Uh, 16th moving up only one spot is Weibo, which they beat Victory 5. I am, so if you missed my video where I went over that series. When I went over that series, I am in the total 100% belief that Victory 5 threw that series in draft. They allowed Senna to go over, and I keep repeating it, and I'm sure it's getting, you know, people are like, really? It's more than that. Weibo played very well. Yeah, they did. Weibo won the series. I'm not saying they didn't win the series, and honestly, I still think Weibo are a team that could push to make worlds they were in that maybes category for a reason but the thing is victory five threw that in draft they really did photic is 15 and 2 on senna if the senna is open you take it you let them have the tk and pp god play something else for real like i don't understand it i really don't weebo we'll see if they can follow up that win over victory five with another win against thunder talk tomorrow thunder talk are on these power rankings too a very underrated team i believe so um that's a if they can beat thunder talk and, and string together a couple wins here 
they will be in this category easily because they did beat Victory 5, but I need to see a little bit more. Uh, 15th new to the power rankings are KT Rolster. They were in here before, but they dropped out. They dropped out, but they've won a couple games now. Last week, they beat Kwangdong in HLE. Now they're 6-5. and five. Um, Rascal, I mean, actually, KT dominated the hell out of HLE today. Um, they really just beat the crap out of them. Vikla didn't do all that well on a stat line, but he played a very, very good Talia in Game 2. Um, KT are getting better right now. They're pushing for that 5th best LCK team slot as uh, DRX fall off and fall off the list here. Um, next, 14th, we have Rogue moving up 11 spots. So Rogue continued to win. I kind of waited, 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 and that's why they moved up so many spots. I was kind of like, are they going to keep it up? Are they really going to keep it up? Um, tomorrow they have to prove it. Um, they play Fnatic, and that's a big prove it game. A massive one that has a lot of implications if Rogue can beat Fnatic. Um, they beat Vitality and BDS. I mean, Vitality, that's a valid team you beat, and you beat BDS, who stink? So um, that's a big one tomorrow for them. Um, I, I, If I had to pick a team that I like, I guess like in the LEC, it is Rogue. Um, but, I mean, I'm really pretty indifferent in general to the LEC. I was a Reckless fan. Um, so I guess I really am not a fan of G2 for kind of like holding him hostage, but that's a whole nother situation. So 13th, anyone's legend. Um, AL dropped six spots. Uh, they dropped six. They lost to FPX today, beat Team Wii. So they continue to fall. They have a very tough schedule the rest of the way. I think the final four are... <sighs> Is it... I think it's... Is it Victory 5 in there? No. It's JDG, RNG, Top, and... No, RNG, JDG, EDG, and Top. Anyone's Legend plays OMG before that, but then the next four are those teams. So, scary times for Anyone's Legend. They have a very tough schedule. They have to beat OMG. If they don't beat OMG, I could see that team going 7-9. and nine. And they're not in the playoffs, which is a shame. I mean, I'm not super high on them. I said it in my Who's Going to Worlds video. I said, you know, I think they're playing their best League of Legends right now. And I don't think they have another gear. And I still don't. I think everything, they live and die through Forge. And um, today they died against FPX. ZDZ played very well, though. He's definitely making a claim to be really respected, even on a bad team. 12th, Sandbox moving up six spots. You know, I'm writing the ship in these power rankings with these, uh, you know, Eastern teams moving up. 12th place, moving up 6 or 7 and 3. They beat HLE. Sandbox play Gen G tomorrow. A big game. If they can beat Gen G, all of a sudden, oh, geez, what's going on? Is, are Gen G falling off? Are Sandbox really better than we thought they would be? I am leaning towards Sandbox taking the L in that one, but we will find out. Um, still, they are the fourth best team in the LCK right now, pretty solidly. Um, 11th place, we have Thunder Talk, a team that I really like. Moving up five spots. Uh, a team I really like. Uh, I really I, I really do. I think Beshwan and UCAL have done a great job. I think no matter who they're using bot lane, I thought Puff and Southwind were solid, but Kepler and Yao Yao are even better down there for them. Hoya, eh, Zhao Zheng I like better than Hoya, but they're going with Hoya. So, um, we'll see what Thundertalk can do tomorrow against Weibo. Weibo are beatable. If they can beat Weibo, that is a massive win for Thundertalk. Um, because the rest of their schedule is easy. Like, they played their tough teams to start the split. That's why they're 11th and their record's 4-5. and five. Like, Weibo is the best team they have left. And you see Weibo's here. We have a lot of teams that you're like, Where, why aren't they on here? Why, why aren't they on here yet? Well, th these guys already played them. So... Yeah, they might have lost to pretty much all those teams. But at the same time, um, beat who you need to beat. So, that's how I feel about that. Um, next, 10th place, we have um, Evil Geniuses moving up two spots. EG, big win over TL. 
EG prove that they're the number one team in the LCS right now, beating Team Liquid, a team that, um, you know, are disappointing everybody. You'd think they'd be better than they are. Um, also beat Dignitas, which they should win. Um, thankfully, they didn't int and lose that game. So, EG, 10th place pretty much. Not much to say about that. I mean, they continue to be... A re I mean, I'm really excited for, to see them internationally again. I, I mean, I'm not expecting a lot. I don't expect a lot. I expect growth. Danny and JoJo are massive players for the game to succeed in North America um, in general. And um, if they can keep going to Worlds and keep performing really well, that is good for League of Legends in the United States, in Canada, and um, the like. Ninth place, um, the last LEC team. Mad Lions. Mad Lions, and people are going to say, well, you had them in the maybes category. Why are they so high? Well, they're playing good League of Legends. They're playing good League of Legends, and in best of ones, they're doing pretty damn well. Moved up 11 spots. Um, versus Rogue, um, in general, Rogue only beat Mad Lions because Mad Lions, like, lost an Elder Flip. So, Mad Lions still, and Ro Mad Lions and Rogue are pretty close. The difference is literally seven and two, six and three. And the, I mean, the difference is that 50, 50. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, really these two teams are close, but mad lions, um, their losses haven't been as drastic where rogues, two losses are pretty, you know, s significant. All right. So there's no more Western teams left to kind of give you a spoiler here for the rest. Um, eighth place dropping three spots. T1. Well, why did T1 drop three spots? I mean, they didn't lose. No, they didn't. They beat DRX and Kwangdong. But they struggled against Kwangdong big time today. Um, Stats-wise, not looking good in that win. Um, beat DRX, though, which is important. Still a team that right now, at, at the end, I will get into it. Still a team that I really respect. Um, seventh, drop up, moving up two spots, EDG. Now seven and four. Um, EDG lost to top, but beat LGD. I mean, maybe they aren't at this level yet, but they lost to top. So kind of is what it is. EDG really though, uh, they did make a change today. They had Junjia in, I'm going to say Junjia, but I don't know how, it, you know, whatever. They had him in the jungle over JJ played very well. Very good League of Legends, LGD stink, but it was a big game. Um, I don't know if it was a wake-up call or an actual decision or COVID or whatever. Moving up two spots in six, their RNG. RNG are still really good. Um, beat LNG and BLG. People think it's recency bias. Uh, no. RNG are just good. They're a really good team. Jahu is a top five mid laner in the world. Gala is a top five AD carry in the world. Ming is a top five support in the world. Wei played phenomenal at MSI. Top lane, I do think they dropped off from Bin to Breathe. That's why they're no longer up here. Pretty much as simple as it is. Fifth place, Dom Juan, uh, moving up one spot. As far as Dom Juan are concerned, I do think that there's a little bit to be desired in bot lane with this team. Nongshim and Fred at Breon, they beat both of them. But Duck Dom hasn't been dying lately. Um, I Honestly, I feel like he only has like one death in the last three series, and Showmaker hasn't died at all, if I recall the stats correctly. So Damwon are really hot right now. In T1 spot lane, not hot at all. So Damwon definitely above them. Um, fourth place, you got Gen G dropping one spot. Uh, Gen G now nine and one. They beat Nongshim. Good for you. Nongshim stinks. Um, pretty much all it is. And when we get up to here, a lot of these teams are really close. Um, you know, it's these. I'm gonna get to in a second. I'll get to in a second. Third top dropping one spot. Beat RNG. How are they dropping one? I mean, beat EDG. How are they dropping one spot? Well, like I said, all these teams are really good. They beat EDG. They beat Rare Adam. That's nice, but JDG are second. Moving up two spots. 
We might as well write victory five in first still, just to kind of save us some time. Um, JDG moving up two spots, beat IG and Team Wee. They smoke showed those teams. I don't know if Tops already played them or not. I really don't recall, but that's kind of how it is. Um, you know, how did your win do against this team versus how this team did? And, and you know, you know what I'm saying. Victory five first. Yes, they lost. They lost to Weebo. That's not good. That's a bad look. That's a bad look. But they have lost. They've lost. They've lost. They've lost. They've lost. They have a couple losses. They have a few losses. They have a few losses. They only have one. And I could go down this list. They have one. But the point is, just because they lost one game doesn't mean I'm dropping them out of first. All these other freaking teams lost games a while ago. So I'm not going to punish them for losing one game. Now, if they lose to LNG tomorrow, uh, might, they might fall. So, um, that's kind of the deal with the power rankings. Um, oh, what I was going to get into, why I, um, was saying the things I was about T1. So, these teams could win. I think all eight of these teams could win Worlds. Right now, I think... If you, I, I mean, these are the eight teams that I could, I could, you, I could see it. You could say, oh, well, it's not probable. It's probably not going to happen. No, I mean, of course, I don't think, I'm not going to say T1 are as good as, I mean, or EDG is as good as Victory 5 or, or, or T, or Dom 1 are going to beat Victory 5, JDG. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there is, I think that these teams are all the teams that are really really good enough that they could make a run in the in the uh you know tournament and win and then you have this and um really it's a bunch of teams that aren't these teams and you're going to say to yourself what the hell is that supposed to mean of course they're not those teams well you don't see these teams winning worlds. I don't. I don't see these teams winning worlds. Um, I really don't. I, I think there is a world there. There is a world where this team just somebody had brought it up and a couple people have that. Oh, well, in the comments and, and, and things, it'd be really fun if Weibo did. And Weibo are definitely capable of doing that on their best day if they can flip a coin enough times correctly i think that's what the comment was and it's pretty freaking accurate um but and that's why they were able to beat victory five um but really i think no no offense to the smaller regions here but i'm going to actually do, put a line here these teams are all the teams right now that are like okay well i could see them being there not these guys. Not these guys. Sorry. Yeah. I think I didn't have these guys in there either. I, I really like Thunder Talk, but let's be real. So, why did I just do those three things? You know, why is this video still going on? Well, those three teams are the three teams out of this group that I would say, yeah, well, I, I did say they're not going to Worlds. I really don't think they will. Um, so I'm not going to say all these teams could go. But everybody else, um, I think, could go. Um, but comment down below with your opinions. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Like I said when this video began, if you are a fan of the PCS, VCS, oh, PCS, VCS, LJL, CB Low, LLA, or TCL. Yes, that means minor regions. I did do a video yesterday for you guys only. Um, so if you want to watch the, that top 10 video, it came out yesterday. Uh, earlier today, I did a roundup where I covered the games from last night, previewed the games for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, and the Discord link is in the description where the complete 108 team ranking will be there. Everybody is on there. That is 100% algorithm based that outside of the top 25 after i get to 25 i let the algorithm do whatever the hell it wants to do because we're not getting into that on this video um, i'm not ranking all 108 teams against each other so um well i guess what i actually want to say is there are teams that i pick out of there that i'm like okay 
You, FPX is a good example. The algorithm hates FPX right now um, because FPX really, really dug themselves a hole stats-wise to start the split. Um, so they have been getting like picked out and brought back up. But in, in, other than that, other than a couple teams me doing that with, the rest is going to be algorithm-based. So like the video, if you like it, like I said, and thank you for watching.